So why does this thing look so darn peculiar? Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Commercial UAV Expo in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm here with our friend FX from Parrot. How you doing, FX? I'm, I'm very good. It's good to see you, Patrick. It's been a while, obviously. Yeah, but, yeah, but it, it's great. We're finally getting back together. And the, the yeah. show is really jumping, I think. What do you think? Yeah, it's, uh, it's busy. It's good to, to see people back on the ground. It really is. Well, of course, Parrot's been turning heads well in the drone industry since you guys got started, but you've got this really interesting new product in the AI. Why don't you tell us about it? So yeah, we uh, we actually uh, showcasing here the Anafi AI, which is our latest product uh, announced uh, very recently. Um, and what what we can discuss today is is the the, the specification of this product. Uh, it's a very very new and innovative product in the sense that first we're bringing 4G LTE connection on a drone embedded in the drone, which means that now we have a SIM card in the drone and that's a first in the industry, commercial out of the shelf product. Um, the idea with 4G is actually to be able to do two key things. First thing is the range. Now, using the 4G, you're not limited in the range capabilities of the drone. So. What we do is that on the controller, when we start with the drone, we have dual connection, Wi-Fi connection, 4G connection. They are actually initiated at the same time. Automatically, the drone, every 100 millisecond, will check the environment and change, if needed, between the Wi-Fi and the 4G. So, no range limit now, and it also um, give you the opportunity to do EV loss or BV loss operation, depending, of course, on the waivers and the FAA rules. But 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 that's actually something uh, available with the drone. Then the 4G capability is bringing something else, which is the fact that the drone being connected while flying, you can directly send data from the drone to the cloud, and so. With Anafi AI, we've actually worked very closely with two partners, Pix40 and Skyward. And so both actually, uh, they, they are within the app already uh, logged in with your credentials. And so you can send directly the data to both Pix40 or Skyward to process your data and the mapping. So that's about the 4G capabilities of the drone, which is an industry first. So, I mean, I, th I think that point sort of warrants emphasizing that you, you can start processing your data, frankly, even before the drone lands. Yes, exactly. Because instead of taking out the SD card, coming back home or doing this remotely with, a, with sharing a connection, sending it to the cloud, etc., you've already started this process. So you're shortening the, you're shortening the workflow. This is what we want to do. All right, and then I understand you have a new FreeFly app, which will be complementing this aircraft? Yes, so that's FreeFlight 7, uh, the new app that has been developed for NFE AI. When you click on Fly here, on the screen, you're going to have directly your map and the live video stream. We're not connected here, that's why we don't have a live video stream. You actually have the capability of uh, changing and switching between the different views. If you want more map or more live stream, that's up to you. Then here in the settings, in, 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 the, in the mission planning, you have different options. What we've done is that we've included the mission planning within the app right now. So you have to click on photogrammetry here and in photogrammetry when you actually open a new mission and set up a new mission, you're going to have the different modes available. So the modes that you guys know, like such as uh, single or uh, double grid or orbit, but the, this mode is pretty new. So basically we're looking at the map here and when we zoom at the map, we see that this is the Mirage Hotel where we, we are just here right now. We, we are here. And so if you click on the hotel right now and your flight pass is automatically created on the map here. So it means that right away you're going to be able to say, okay, this is what I want to do. Done. Launch the drone. The drone with the flight parameters that are set up here with the 4G, the obstacle avoidance, everything is, is actually uh, ready. The drone will do its own thing. Take the data, send it to the cloud, you're done. So this is what we, we call one-click photogrammetry, one-click mapping. Let me ask you this one, FX. Why does this aircraft look so peculiar? Yeah, so let's let's talk a bit about the imagery system that we've developed on the drone and 
this is also explaining the look of it because the design of this drone is, is, is pretty unusual and, and, and the imaging system is actually uh, related to that. So what we've done here is that uh, we have, as you can see, two camera system mounted on uh, a gimbal system. So one is actually these two stereo camera which are used as a perception system so it's collision avoidance we'd also call that it's collision avoidance yes uh, so it's 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 in order to perceive what's going on in the environment okay uh, but you used to have collision avoidance or obstacle avoidance um, around the drone all, all the way now what we've done here is that we've implemented two cameras stereo cameras and they're going to look in the same direction as the drone is moving which means that automatically they're going to map the environment and sense and avoid so and these, so this is actually moving on a pitch axis here and only on the pitch axis. While, so that's the obstacle avoidance system providing the autonomy that we were actually uh, talking about when doing the mapping. On the other side of the house, here we have the main camera system. And so this camera is mounted on a three axis gimbal and we also do stabilization electronically. And you may remember that Parrot has had several drones doing. Uh, which where the, the picture was stabilized thanks to um, thanks to electronic stabilization and so here we have six axis stabilization three mechanical three electronical and the camera that we've put it here is a 48 megapixel half inch quad bio sensor uh, which means that for for photogrammetry and for mapping for example we can actually have a precision at 0.46 centimeter per pixel at 100 feet so this is this is better than a than a, than a one inch at 20 megapixel for example um, zoom capabilities up to six times zoom digital zoom so this drone has very much been developed with inspection construction and mapping in mind and autonomy with this field of view of the main camera you will never see the obstacle avoidance system because of the way it's, it's been it's been designed so that's actually explaining this shape here because of the camera system uh, this is a fan to extract the heat of the drone uh, lights on each side uh, time of flight sensor a vertical camera here 4g slot and sd card slot the battery is actually a big part of it because if you if you stop the battery this is this is the drone and the battery lifetime is 32 minutes so the drone falls back just like this and the camera system will actually fall back like this so that's that's actually how it looks when it's it's over a little bit about the controller that comes with this drone that's the new sky controller 4 um, basically it may remind you the nintendo switch system <laughs> so you can fit a smartphone or up to an ipad mini on the on the controller directly so the controller is connected via wi-fi switching to 4g using the 4g connection of your smartphone all the all the charging standards are usb-c we want people to be easily charging on the go etc so nothing proprietary and here we have a micro hdmi out uh, we've been having this request several times on the previous generation we actually put it hdmi out back to the bebop one in 2015 nobody was using it now everyone wants it so we put it back in a nice format on the micro hdmi well fx it's a pretty remarkable machine i look forward to seeing how it performs uh, it, it certainly is unique well thanks for taking the time to share it with us thank you very much patrick it's great to see you again great to see you and from Commercial UAV Expo in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off. Thanks again, FX. Thanks again, Patrick.